I have actually bought a new bike. I can confirm it is a gravel bike. Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome to another vlog. Welcome to the South Derbyshire area of the Peak District. I've just gone up Winster, having left Darley, Dale and Matlock. A couple of tough climbs already. There's 22 climbs, categorised five of this. Two out of the way with another 20 to go. Let's just go out, enjoy some amazing countryside here in the Peak District. If you fancy riding this yourself, you can find a link to my profile on Strava down below the video. Right, it's time to get moving. going along Cotton Lane. Absolutely stunning. I must schedule some kind of stop for food because I didn't really put any shops in or anything which is kind of stupid when you come to the Peak District. <laughs> do have some food with me though. I've got a few cereal bars. I'm going to tuck into a couple of those in a minute I think. So the next place we're heading over to really that I remember from the route is the village of Flash. It's the highest village in the UK. So we're heading there. So I'm following I believe it's Morridge Top Road. So I'm just going to open and ride with GPS, take a bit of a look where I am. So I'm over there, okay. I guess it's got my GPS position wrong. Oh, there we go, we're moving. So it leakers over to the west. Mearbrook, that's the reservoir. Up over here somewhere, long nor going through and flash maybe 90 kilometers. Tides well, oh, that's a bit disappointing. <laughs> Private property, best view there is. What is it? Waterboard or something? I don't know. Let's keep moving. Oh, before I get there as well, I must mention, um, some of you have probably noticed that I've not been doing much downhill footage recently, and that is simply because I broke my pro standard grill mount. I've not put my hands in my pocket and bought a new one yet. About 30 quid, I think. They're not, they're not cheap. I actually won the last one on a Francis Cade giveaway, so that's why I managed to get hold of one. But yeah, I think I put, put my hands in my pocket and buy one myself because they're brilliant things. Wow. I think I've got a 20% climb around here soon as well. I don't know what it is in the distance, but there's a big, big mountain thing over there. Maybe that's Bidoff Moor. Is that a general direction of Bidoff? Quite possibly. So I'm heading down Thorncliffe Bank. Just uh, bumped into another rider. Well not literally, we just started talking. <laughs> and I was uh, asking what this and that was. So there's a big hill here and I mean a really seriously steep hill. And I've done old axes where you come, there's actually a bend another road by the house. But you're coming down that fast, you end up coming down here and having to turn around and go back up again. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna hurt a bit. Uh, don't know if I can get it up on the screen there, but there's one of those dark red bits. Look at that, nearly 200 meters, four kilometers long. Bit of a soft fest. Right, I'll have to get myself onto the lower chain ring and get on climbing. 
big views people and on top of Thorncliffe Bank quite possibly the hardest climb I have to do today I think this is pop that's probably the roaches on the right there some of the guys amongst you might know something different on the bike today and it's this uh, top tube bag my old one from Rock Brothers the zip and I mean the zip line itself broke uh, I just couldn't zip it up and down so I've got another Rock Brothers one as you can see it's got twin compartments oh yes brilliant <laughs> yeah so we can get twice as much in luckily the uh, the width on it for my frame and my legs it's, it's not too wide so so far I'm happy with it so that's the main road down to uh, Leek all the way over there Upper Hume I think it's called there's a campsite at the top which I stayed at during the jog in 2020 so up in the distance there's a, there's a pub the Winking Man so I'm going to get to that junction, go straight across uh, onto some more back roads and towards Flash, which once again is the highest village in England. Maybe Scotland, Wales as well, but it's definitely the highest village in England. So uh, let's keep moving, let's stay warm. So the, uh, apparently is the climb, what it's showing me, is another two kilometres away. So I guess that's going to take me up to the Winking Man, or maybe just over there somewhere. Anyway, let's find out. I think this is probably the uh, going to be the highest point of the ride. Probably higher than Flash. So just at the campsite I stayed at when I did the jog back in 2020, which is just over at that farmhouse there, and didn't really do much apart from walk around those rocks and things. Oh, out windy, it's lovely. Oh. Right, we arrived at Flash. It's the highest village in Britain. So that means England, Scotland, and Wales, 1,518 feet. That's a lot of pedaling. <laughs> so now that I have arrived at the highest village, I just wanted to share some news with you. I've got some great news and I got some good news. The good news, unfortunately, I can't share with you just yet. Uh, maybe hold off another week, but the great news, I certainly can. I have actually bought a new bike. I can confirm it is a gravel bike. Can you guess what it is down in the comments below? I can tell you it's not a Sonder Camino. They didn't have the mint colour frame that I wanted. So it's something else. It could be anything. The initials of the brand are NP, like Nicholas Parsons. <laughs> God, Nicholas Parsons, that's showing me age. What was he off? Anyway, um, NP is the, the manufacturer, the brand and it's a one by system the model color is described as depressed aubergine and it's a bit different to uh what i'd normally look to buy it's not a big brand name certainly not in the gravel space but it actually leans towards mountain bike a little bit as well because it comes with a dropper post anyway i'm giving you too much information here i think but uh, if you want to have a guess head down in the comments below you'll find out in a couple of weeks what have I got left? Not much. Oh, have I? <laughs> I've been pushing the boat out. Um, yeah, Poundland. That's what you can do when you just bought another bike. Scrimp and save. get going again They're freezing pretty cold everything's gonna be dressed on now <laughs> it's coming to three o'clock it's getting dark very soon as you can see it's gonna be dipping away behind that, that, that hill there I'm um, turning the left here anyway time's ticking away must move I 
I have got a tailwind. <laughs> Not that well much around here, but I'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts. I love the shape of those two hills over there. I'm pretty sure I've ridden the other side of them. In the countryside, beautiful here in the Peak District. This ride, I think the southern half of the Peak District is growing on me. So I've done 13 of 22 climbs. So there's eight to go, unless there's 60k. So that means it's quite a hilly finish. And I've probably got about an hour and a half to go before the sun goes down. Let's see how it goes. So I'm just going through Longdor, quite toasty at the moment. I'm just hoping it doesn't boil over too sweaty. Oh, absolutely love this next bit coming up. both half on the other side Whew. been a great day really loved it I just wish there was more light <laughs> but November can't be complaining doing 80 miles in the Peak District this time of year Starting to enter the last 35k or so of this ride. You won't be able to see much soon. So um, it's gone through Latin and I'm heading towards, is it Crestwell, Crestbrook? Anyway, Monsel Head and doing that climb up towards the ice cream van, I guess. <laughs> and then just a few more hills after that. Take me back to Matlock. So I hope you enjoyed this one, don't forget to have a go at guessing what uh, gravel bike I bought. Comments, questions, put them down below. Fancy coming to the P District sometime. I hope it's inspired you to get out here. I mean, I, I watched somebody else's video, Chris Hall. Chris Hall rides, only a couple weeks ago. He lives out this way now and I was like, tell you what, I've not been to Staffordshire that often. Let's go. And here I am. Anyway, like I say, you probably can't see anything now. There's nothing left to film. I'll see you in the next one, yeah? Take care. Bye-bye now. Bye.